What would life be like if you could only walk on all fours? Could the body adapt to this style of movement, leading to unlocking new advantages? Or would this unnatural transportation just beat the body down? How difficult could normal tasks get? What would other people think? This has been one of the most requested challenges yet. So, that is why for you guys, I decided to take this challenge on and walk only on all fours for an entire week. This is my journey, but you gotta focus. All right guys, day one. Let's begin this experiment. Three, two, one. All right, we're down here for the week. <laughs> so uh, first things first, laundry. It's not too bad. Getting my day started with the basic task of unloading the laundry quickly made me realize oh boy. How as humans in our society, it is very beneficial that we have our hands to help us hold things while we use our legs to help us move with those things. When you have to use all fours for transportation, my coordination while handling other objects was severely hindered. It's like I need to carry this on my back. Barely 10 minutes in and I was already getting fatigued. Every day things took five times as long. Things were so difficult to do, navigate, even see from this unnatural position. And I had so much longer to go. Hopefully I would start to adapt. We're gonna get the mail. I thought getting the mail was going to be generally an easy task, but because my mailbox is approximately a couple hundred feet from my house, getting the mail was excruciating. Having to walk on all fours for over 20 feet, all of a sudden it felt like my legs were locking up and I had to take ample breaks. What is usually a two minute activity took me about 10 minutes to get the mail. And this is when I realized this challenge was probably gonna be way harder than I thought. Hope that's not delicate. That's a workout. Let's get this in. Should I? Well, that doesn't work real well. We're still gonna drink water normally. Oh man, you guys are probably wondering how's this gonna go down? <laughs> It's like you forget all the things you do on a normal basis until those things become difficult. Because I'm just going to show you guys how this is going to have to be done. I'm keeping my shorts on for now, okay? But when I pause the camera, they're coming off. Ugh. All right, these got to come off. So small tasks, like just anything you would use, you know, your hands normally to just grab when you're standing up. Those tasks are so much more difficult when you're on all fours. Everything's different from down here, I'm telling you. It's all different. It's terrible. Gonna lay here for a minute, get, get a drink of water, and then probably eat some dinner. Okay. Is this necessary? So I'm having rice and peas, cause it's kind of easy to make. But uh, my wife just got home, so maybe I'll have her make me something on the side. Look at those peas, gonna boil. Yum. Are you allowed to have a fork? Yeah, I'm just walking on my hands. I didn't say I'm gonna become an actual dog for a week. <laughs> for the record, I did not. I'm not eating this. I only made this cause you asked help for this. Yeah, because I'm I need. Not eating that. Wait, this is what you did. This is how you dished it up. Okay. What's wrong with that? How else was I supposed to do it? I don't know, like make it look a little better. Oh, I burnt my tongue. Oh, 
Oh yeah! Oh. So just to make it clear, I am still able to sit down if I would like, I just have to navigate everywhere I go on all fours. So I pretty much sat down the rest of the night. I'm already out of breath. Quads are sore. Just from the basic navigation of the day prior, the outside of my quads were already very fatigued. Regardless, after doing some work and a few chores, it was time to go train. On one end, just getting to the workout location was a workout in itself. On the other hand, I noticed I was actually starting to get more use to traveling on all fours. Man, bringing the camera with me is like the hardest part. Even though it was clear that I was already getting faster and more efficient on traveling on all fours, it still took a lot longer than walking or running and was still a lot more fatiguing. Also, it was extremely frustrating moving the camera around from spot to spot to get those good angles. Everything still felt like it took two to three times as long and used three to four times as much energy. I still tried to accomplish a basic upper body push-pull calisthenics workout. However, it still felt like most of the workout was just done by navigating around on all fours. While fairly dirty, my hands seemed like they were holding up pretty well, probably from all of the hand training we've been doing over these last couple of videos. Check those out. After about an hour of being outside in the dirt trying to train, I was done. So it's like at first when I got down here, it looked like I thought, like objects would converge like this. I, you know, I'm looking up at objects, the bottoms are now bigger and the tops are smaller because they're further away. That's what it appears like. But something I'm noticing now is it's like evening out. And for some reason, it makes it look different, but it's not different. It's like, it just feels different. It's getting weird, it's only day two, I know, okay. For real, things are actually starting to appear different from spending so much time in the all fours position. The rest of the day was pretty much basic, ate dinner, went to bed, didn't navigate around much. This is fitting. Silly enough though, I do feel like I'm starting to get maybe like carpal tunnel like syndromes on this hand right here. Kind of like right in this zone right here up into the fingers. I do have a very old breakdance or b-boy breaking injury on this hand <sighs> that might be getting aggravated by having it bent and using it like a foot, you know, for so long these last two days. I don't think it'll be anything severe, hopefully. So I'm gonna continue today like normal. I'm gonna have my little hack fast here. I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna work, and then I think we're going to the gym. All right, gym time. It's harder than I thought. So luckily, not too many people were in the gym. Anyways, as you can imagine, I was pretty confined to the type of movement and exercises I was able to do. So, in spirit of this video, I decided to do some animalistic type exercises. I was mainly planning on just targeting the legs, but in doing these movements, I realized it was going to be a full body workout. Trying a few different things and just kind of having fun with it. As goofy and idiotic as this probably looks, it was actually quite fatiguing and I felt like I got a pretty good workout. He's really embarrassing me. <laughs> ah. 
Yo, everything with the animalistic movements, it feels like the, it's like your muscles are being trained, like not in the center, like closer to the t Does that make any sense? <laughs> Is the black top hot? It's a little toasty. It's like one of the last days with this car. I know. The wife's selling it, guys. She's selling it. R.I.P. Oh. Hands starting to look pretty beat up. The back of my neck was starting to get really sore, as well as the outside of my quads, and that tendonitis feeling I was feeling in my wrist was still aggravating me. So the rest of the night, I just took it easy to prepare for day four. So my legs are feeling actually more fatigued than sore, which is strange. It's like when I was hitting them with the foam roller, it wasn't like that, oh, soreness. It was more just like, what's going on? My wrists, on the other hand, this one that was starting to feel like I was getting like carpal tunnel syndrome is actually doing better. However, this one now, it's like clicking. Like, yeah, if I turn it up in here, which is probably just maybe some minor inflammation from all the essentially pounding on the hands because I'm using my hands like feet. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of take it easy the rest of the day. I don't know if anything eventful will happen. I do need to go to the store. Kind of ran out of toilet paper. So we're out here day five. I decided to do a workout out on this field right here, this turf, um, basically just doing the all fours with some push-ups and some pull-ups. Um, so even after that rest day, I'm actually feeling pretty darn exhausted and my wrists are kind of hurting. My hands are like perma-stained right now, but it's nothing catastrophic. So with that being said, I think what we should do now is test my quarter mile time on the track on all fours. But first I gotta navigate my way all the way over to the track which is like seriously been the hardest part about this experiment is like navigating so if you couldn't tell already so far with this experiment the hardest part wasn't necessarily the workouts i was doing it was literally just navigating from one spot to uh, another here goes nothing <laughs> okay it's like i didn't realize how much i relied on just walking for navigation until i had to walk on all fours in it. and then anything over like 20 feet of travel even after adapting over these last couple of days, ended up being very fatiguing and just awkward. Finally trying to travel a quarter mile for time and then navigating all the way back to the car, it was just the last straw. I'm not going around the car, going right through. Uh. Uh, but not because I was trying to hit a goal of walking on all fours for an entire week, but I believe because I spent the last couple of days on all fours, it started to feel more natural and almost felt like if I would stand up, that would be weird. So even though exhausted, I powered through the rest of the day. Uh. 
All right, guys. Uh, all right, sorry, guys. I got to do this, but uh, oh. Well, it feels good to be back up. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling pretty dizzy right now. All right, I know it's only been five days, guys, but that's a work week. I still think I got everything I needed to get out of that. I hope you did too. So if I would've went into the weekend, it would've just been the same old stuff you guys already saw. Blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, all these excuses add up to just one, one point, and that's, I, I'm just done with this one. You know that whole perspective thing I was talking about? Like now it's like reversing. Boo, I know, I know, I know. Okay, anyways guys, another big reason, I told my wife I'd go on a date with her, okay? I didn't feel like going on the date on all fours, all right? Things would've just got weird. I'm gonna gather my thoughts, see what life is like to be a biped again, but stay tuned, interesting stuff I wanna share with you guys. I'll see you in a second. What's up, Home Slice? So first off, holy moly, look at the shoulder rounding in the after visuals compared to the before. Only five days of walking on all fours, and my shoulders are so jacked up. Heck, even look at the traps. They just look jacked up relative to the beginning of this. It's crazy that just a relative short amount of time, only five days in this experiment, forgive me for that, not making it a full seven days, but only five days literally jacked my posture up that bad. What were some other implications from this experiment? My hands did get a little abrased here and there. They got roughed up, but they never got any cuts and they never even bled. And I think we can attribute that hand toughness to the bigger hand training we've been doing for the last couple of weeks before this experiment. So I think that really paid off in keeping my hands resilient. Now when it comes to the carpal tunnel or wrist injuries I was complaining about and the clicking of this wrist when I was flipping it over, that lasted for actually a couple of days after I finished this experiment. But luckily, as of right now, it is all completely gone. I no longer have any carpal tunnel syndromes in this hand and this hand is not clicking when I'm flipping it upside down. Praise the Lord because, oh my gosh, I just don't think I could mentally deal with another like long or semi-permanent injury from doing one of these challenges. So on top of that, another area I didn't really talk about too much is actually the neck. If we actually look at the after photos one more time compared to the before, it actually looks like even though my posture is so jacked up with the shoulders and traps, my neck is pretty darn straight up. Because I had to look like this so much when I was walking on fours, I think it actually tightened some of the back of the neck muscles here. Another thing if you want to talk about aesthetics and you just look at the afters, I actually don't think I look as maybe like lean or muscular as I did as before. Did I actually lose muscle or potentially just kind of beat down the arms too much to where they couldn't recover enough like they were before? Did I lose a little bit of size? I didn't change anything in my diet over this week. What do you guys think? Now after all that, something I do want to make a point that was pretty darn interesting was the fact that I actually got significantly better at walking on all fours day after day after day. You guys saw day by day I was getting faster, more coordinated at walking on all fours and it was like I could just like almost run on all fours, you know what I mean? Like gallop. What I noticed in the beginning was I was just slowly distributing my weight to each hand and each foot that was on the ground when I was walking on all fours. But towards the middle and end of this experiment, my motor pattern was in such a way where it felt like I was much lighter on my hands and even feet. And it was kind of cool to just be such a, like a freak, you know what I mean? I was like, freaking, I was, I, was having, I was kind of starting to have fun with it. But yes, I did cut this short, still a week, a work week, okay? Forgive me, please forgive me, but I just want to be honest with you guys what I did. I only did this one for five days. And with that being said, I want to share with you guys a little secret, okay? A little sneaky secret. I feel dirty. I'm sorry. I did go on a date with my wife, and when I was on that date, I'm like, babe, you got to get this escalator footage right here, okay? I'm going to pretend like I'm on all fours on the escalator. I'm going to walk to the top. Oh, it's going to be perfect for the beginning of this video. And I made her film me. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey, I make you feel me doing weird things all the time and you're just like, oh man, you guys are probably getting the wrong idea. That sounded weird. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Okay, hopefully you know what I'm saying. But yeah, anyways, that footage in the beginning going up the escalator was after this experiment. I just really wanted to get it. I thought it would look funny. But yeah, I just wanted to disclose that to you guys. With that being said though, I hope you guys enjoyed this experiment. Hope you guys were entertained. Maybe you learned something out of this. But if you do want to walk on all fours, it is a pretty good workout here and there. Just be sure you balance it out. Stay tuned, I have more videos coming out, more challenges coming out, interesting stuff. I also have more product reviews coming out. We got some crazy cool products coming in. So I'm excited to release those. If you guys are interested in my body weight training program, Body Weight Beast 2.0, Work out virtually anywhere with your body weight. Check out OnlyKindsFitness.com, link in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and turn those notifications on. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.